The hedge fund manager, as we've said, Crispin O'Day, renewed his hotly debated wager against the British pound as UK lawmakers' failure to agree on the divorce terms heightened concerns the country may crash out of the European Union without a deal. For more, we're joined now by uh, Nishant Kumar, Bloomberg hedge fund reporter, hot from this scoop. Very good to have you with us then, Nishant. Very good to have your, uh, your, your scoop on the programme. So this, is, it, this isn't specifically tied to breakaway parts of the Labour Party going off and doing their own thing, but it is tied to the bigger picture, whether we're going to see a no-deal Brexit and, and O'Day's assessment of that, isn't it? Absolutely. So uh, he put on this bet again uh, sometime last month. Uh, just a week, a few weeks before, he had unwound this trade. Uh, trade for which he has been um, frequently criticized on Twitter and Twitterati has always almost abused him for this bet that he supported Brexit, he pushed uh, UK towards uncertainty and now he's here uh, shorting uh, Sterling. But uh, he had this uh, bet running for a long time, he unwound that uh, last month and very quickly put on this bit again. Mm. And it hasn't moved the pound all that much. We, I guess we had some suggestions that perhaps this was, this was coming. Yeah, it could be because his fund is uh, way, way smaller now. So on the Brexit day, he made 220 million pounds uh, just on one day, which he, by the way, lost over the next few <laughs> uh, weeks as markets recovered. But in terms of real invest investment, it's not probably huge enough to move the market. Uh, and uh, this is basically him. He seems to put in pla place a lot of, uh, whenever he sees a tail risk increasing in likelihood, that's yeah. where these kind of calls come from. Because previously it's been around second referendums, this time it's around no deal. That, that appears to be the case here, absolutely.